Trap house is heartbreak. Think I know why you niggas mad as I sit back and I laugh. Ha ha ha, cause I'm hot and you not. No, you not. You know I like to go and add when I'm playing with the cash. Just my luck. And I heard there ain't no such thing as too much. Think I know you niggas mad as I sit back and I laugh. Ha ha ha, cause I'm hot and you not. No, you not. Okay, you know I like to add when I'm playing with my cash. Just my luck. And I heard there ain't no such thing as too much. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but. I know what I've been through. Now, it's April 6th, right? And a lot of interesting things been going on prior to today involving King Vaughn and his relatives and friends and so forth. Now, you got King Vaughn's sister Kayla going back and forth with Balo, who is King Vaughn's cousin. Uh, you got Kayla also going back and forth with King Vaughn's baby mother. And you guessed it. <laughs> you got Kayla, once again, threatening to spill tea on Asian Doll. And I'm still wondering what that T is because the way she was talking, like she knows something that we don't know and something that could very, very, very much damage Asian Doll's career. She seemed a little too confident when she was saying that she had T. Anyway, now on that same IG live, Kayla finally admitted that she in fact has King Vaughn's vocal slash hard drives, whatever you want to call them. And she said that she also gave them to Dirk. And Dirk pretty much told friends and whoever that they are not getting them hard drives. He keeping them. Uh, uh, King Vaughn got unreleased music on there, and so does he. They got, you know, I guess music together, whatever the case may be. Y'all not getting them. Now, personally, right, I don't think taking the hard drives was totally Kayla's idea. I, I personally think someone sent her over there to collect them. Because let's be for real, y'all. When someone passes away in your family, the last thing you're thinking about is hard drives. You're not thinking about hard drives. You're not thinking about nothing other than materialistic things such as, you know, clothes, shoes, jewelry, and a car if you if you can. If you listen, if you could get someone's car, you know how it is, man. Whether it's for materialistic reasons or memories or you just want to stunt. You know that those are the things that you get. You don't get hard drives. You don't worry about a hard drive. I right? no one is thinking to search and take this man's hard drives, especially a woman. And for one, how did you even know where they were? Like to begin with, I'm sure the man is just leave them sitting around. Like I said, who knows? I can't sit there and make that type of prediction. But at the same time. What's the coincidence that this girl goes, takes King Vaughn's hard drives, right? After lying about it for a little minute, and then she gives it to Dirk. Let me know what y'all think, man. Did Kayla have an alternative motive to take those hard drives from the beginning? Or I'm going to say something don't sound right. Now, let's get to business, man. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now, um, Muop came out with a video called Nobody Move and it featured King Vaughn about two days ago. Now, we know Muop just started rapping since King Vaughn's passing. I don't know whether he want to carry the torch. He want to put on for... You know, the little bit of the little area OTF or O block, I want to say O block, that King Vaughn was pretty much managing. You know, that he was giving back to the dudes. He was making bread, splitting it with his team, you know, making sure his guys was okay, taking them with him on the road, all that, right? Prior to all this going on, prior to King Vaughn's death, Muwap did not rap. I did not hear one song. I did not hear Peep. You barely knew, even knew Muwap talk. And when you're in the streets, I'm going to tell you one thing. That's actually a good thing. So, you know, kudos go out to him. And not to mention, he was also known as a guy who was identified that punched Quando Rondo and tried to get him off of King Vaughn that infamous night. Allegedly, or whatever the case may be, you know, to clear it up. Anyway, now, it's also a red flag to me, right, that this man has managed to get one million views in two days over this video with king vaughn 
Now, I said it correct. He got 1 million, not 100, not 100,000, not 1,000, not a half a million. He got 1 million views in two days off of his video with King Vaughn. Now, yes, during post death, we know that these rappers' numbers goes up, whether it's Billboard, whether it's YouTube. Um, whether it's listen streams, we know that when somebody die, we gravitate to them to the uh the highest extent. We stream their music like never before. Even with this DMX situation, nobody was talking about DMX. Even though we know him to be a great artist, I don't care what happened in DMX's future. I mean, I said future in his past. I don't care what drugs or none of that. None of that takes away from this man's craft, right? But nobody was playing his music. Now, guess what? It came out that he quote unquote overdosed and now everywhere including radio want to sit there and play this man's music not knowing that it may have helped them who knows it may it may have helped them that they play his music so he could get a little money in his pocket so he wouldn't be doing drugs so he could actually be uh, uh you know probably in another country somewhere maybe shop who knows anything to take his mind off of that drug and doing what he was doing but anyway, back to Muwap doing 1 million views in two days off his video. Now, like I said, during post death, these guys' numbers goes up, and we've seen it with Nipsey, we've seen it with Pop Smoke, uh, and now we've seen it with King Vaughn. we also seen it with countless number of people, whether it's Tupac, Biggie. They still making Tupac and Biggie documentaries on Netflix to this day, and their deaths occurred in the 90s, bro. That's more than two that Like do we understand what's going on here But that's another subject Back on this subject One million views in two days Cause I, nobody's talking about this This is a red flag to me It's crazy I don't know how this man is getting One million views in two days for one Let's be real I know legends in the game As well as artists that are actually Popping in the music industry That are not pulling so much as 500,000 or maybe even 100,000 views in two days. Let alone 1 million. Like, keep that in mind, y'all. Also, keep in mind that I stated before in my previous video, right? People suddenly having King Von versus, and I find it weird that every one. It's popping out the woodworks with a King Vaughn verse. And then look, coincidentally now it comes out that Dirk got them hard drives. Come on, y'all. Not to mention, right? Vaughn was all over that OTF mixtape or album, whatever you want to call it. And of course, Dirk used a song with Vaughn to be the single for it. Like, come on. And then, like I said, it came out today, earlier, that King Vaughn's mother along with Baylo or however it may have happened or whoever was involved but King Vaughn also has well not King Vaughn but his mother has his names uh, all that trademark so whether it's grandson King Vaughn uh, whatever Vaughn, V-Roy all that all that is trademark so whenever somebody use it 